friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to show you how I soak and wash my non-organic fruits. So typically, I do strive to buy organic as much as possible, but I don't push myself and I'm not too hard on myself to make sure I buy 100% organic. It's um, not attainable for me financially and it's not sustainable for me at the moment right now to buy all organic, but I think it's really important to buy organic as much as possible to support that system and to buy organic fruits and veggies means that you are awesomely getting a higher nutritionally dense fruit or vegetable. When you have a fruit or vegetable that is sprayed more with pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides, you are bringing that nutrition level, possibly even like the amount of calories and other things in that, the other things that are beneficial in that fruit or vegetable, you're degrading it. Yes, there are some fruits and veggies that I do buy that are non-organic. Typically, I like to follow the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. I've explained that before, and if you don't know what that is, I will leave some links down below. However, sometimes, even when it comes to that, sometimes maybe um, uh, I don't have access to an organic fruit or vegetable, or I don't have the financial means at that point in time, that's okay, no worries, no stress. I buy the non-organic fruit or vegetable and then I soak it. So what I do is I do this technique and I'm really excited to show you this technique because I've read many different studies, many different resources say that you can wash away up to 96% of pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides on that fruit or veggie when you do this technique. So here it is. I hope you guys find this video helpful. So the first thing I do is I fill up my kitchen sink. So I plug the hole, I fill it up with some warm water. I don't want hot water, I don't want cold water, simply warm water will do. Then I add in half of a cup of baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. And once the sink is full, maybe a quarter full, I stir that in and I make sure to stir in the baking soda so it's not sunk to the bottom of the sink. Once the baking soda is stirred all in properly, then I add in all of my fruits and or veggies. Once everything is in the sink, I then give it another stir. So now you can use a spatula, a wooden stick, whatever you like to use here. I just make sure to move all of the fruits around so everything is soaking and coated well. I set the timer for 30 minutes so that it can all soak for a good amount of time. Halfway through, about 15 minutes, I give it another stir to make sure all of the fruits and or veggies are coated well with the baking soda. When the 30 minutes is up, I unplug the drain and I let the water drain out. I turn on the warm water again and as it's draining, I like to rinse off and using my hands rub the fruits really well while I am rinsing them. Essentially, this just makes sure all of the sodium bicarbonate is off of the fruit and or veggie. Once I've rinsed and rubbed them all well, I leave them in the drip tray just to dry for a little bit. Sometimes I do use a towel and rub them off myself and then that's it. I just place them back in my fruits and veggie boxes to store in the pantry. So this is a little bit of a process on the grocery haul day. However, it's definitely worth it when you can save some extra money. So that concludes this video. If you guys liked it, if you appreciated it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you're new here. I will see you next time.